Welcome to the family! Hey guys, today we're going to do a demo of Can't Catch Harry, which is an odd ones out card game. When we first bought this, it was like really hard to find a tutorial video. So if that is still the case, hopefully we are helping you today. And the board is really simple. You have a map, you have your deck of cards, which you will see some of those as we're playing. You get a lantern, a Harry figure, and there's just two of us playing today. You can have up to six players. And if you do, you will use all of these little guys in here. But Harry is the highest point moth, so that's why he's on the table. And what is the deal you need? How many points to win? If someone has exactly 11 points, congratulations, you've won. If someone has gone over 11 points, that player doesn't score any points this round. Yeah, the lantern is what, negative points? Yeah, I believe so. And then there's some cards, like the devil, that are negative points, but Harry's worth three, and then there's two of the moths are worth two, two are worth one. That's the point structure there. And if you get a four of a kind, that's three points. If you get a four of a kind, that triggers you reaching for Harry, and it's all about fast hands at that point. So it's fairly simple. Each player will get four cards. You don't normally play on the mat here. I don't know what you're doing. So here's what the cards look like. They're all different odd ones out art and you want to get four of each one by sort of trading with the other player. We'll just show you because that's easier. Uh, was there any rule on who started? The youngest player. Ooh, that means I get to go first. All right, I am gonna start by trading you this card. Well, first you gotta draw. Oh, oh, that's right. You draw and then you pass whatever card you want to me. Okay, I'm passing you this card. You would pass like this all the way around the circle till you got to the end and then the last person would discard a card of their choice. So I'm gonna discard and then it starts all over again. Didn't you need to draw or? No, no, oh, you draw. I draw. Okay. Yeah, and then Hold it cycles on. around. It's been a second. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to just pass them face up so at least they have something to look at. Oh, baby James. So see, if you notice, you only get to keep four cards ever. So you want to try to get to four of a kind. So that is back to me. Darn it. And basically once it goes in this discard pile, it's never coming back up again. So if, since you already saw me get rid of one baby James, I'm never gonna be able to get four of a kind. There's more than four of each. No, there's only four of each. That's the whole point. <laughs> but there's wild cards. Crap, I forget what this does, so I'm just gonna trade it. I think the lamp card is negative points if yeah. the round ends and you have it. Unless you have four of a kind. Like if you have four lamps, then it counts as a normal set of cards, but if not, then it's a negative one point. There are devil cards and everyone cards. Devil cards, if you get caught with it in your hand at the end of the round and you didn't win, it's negative one point for each card. But if you have all four and you win, it resets everybody else's score to zero. And then you have your everyone card. Counts as anything. Just like the devil cards, if you don't win the round, you will lose a point for each one in your hand. So then are the lamp cards a negative point? That was the question I, I had. I don't think they are. Just the lamp token. Right. All right, so to continue. Oh, oh. Oh, you didn't discard. Evil bird. Because it would be copyright infringement to admit that's the Chancellor. There's one of them pesky devils. I think I got rid of one of those already. Yep. Gosh! <laughs> you can see where this game starts getting a little tedious when there's only two of you. Sandwich artist. <laughs> Somebody could have got close to four of a kind with the devil at this point. Yeah. I forget what to do. I think I go like Yahtzee and grab a Harry. <laughs> no, you just grab. 
everybody has to start snatching once because once you get four of a kind you have to very subtly but very quickly snatch up harry because it, even if you motion towards the board and everybody starts grabbing they could grab that and still get more points you would still win but you would get less points. did i do it at the right time though because i know we we played this at christmas when we got it and we haven't played it since but since i still have the twin card like i didn't trade to you i got the four of a kind and went for harry is that that's right okay that's the proper because you're ending the game you're not you're not continuing with four cards so then i have you have three points plus three points giving you six points because you got a four of a kind, so that gives you three. And you got Harry, which is another three. But it says moth cards. No, that's just showing four okay, of a kind okay. as an example. And we have to reshuffle. I want to see. I want to see how close you are. Aww. Aww. You want me to do the shuffling? Yeah. I mean, only if you really want it shuffled. If <laughs> you just want them scooted around in different orders, that's my thing. I don't know how you do that. I've spent my whole life trying to do that, but I feel like you scratch the bejesus out of the cards. And we're like, here's a tutorial video. Wait a minute, how do you play this game? <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Evil bird. Lampy. Hunters. Mm -hmm. The devil. Wait, how do I? I only have three cards. What happened? I don't know. How did you manage that? <laughs> I only end up with three cards. Did you pass me one and not draw? I don't. I don't. Let's reshuffle. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like I started with four cards. You did. One. One, two, two three, three, four. four. Uh, uh, uh. Lamp. You only had three? Yeah. I'm... I swear we just watched you count. Yeah, I know. No, I got all. Okay. I don't want mom. Maybe I should have kept mom. <laughs> Wait, I'm back to three again. I'm so confused. What am I doing wrong? What in the world is happening? <laughs> How am I doing this? I know what I did. I didn't draw when I first started. So I'm just going to, I'm going to fix that. And I'm just going to draw two right now. <laughs> have a James. Furry. Uh, Foxy. The Devil. Oop. Hunters. I'm gonna move this to the other side. That makes sense. Hunters. <laughs> Evil Bird. Devil. Baby James. <laughs> Get rid of a teacher. Twin. Lamp. Nope. Oh. Ah. <laughs> so now I have five and you have six. Still next player's game. Actually, I was negative one last turn. So. We both have five. Right. Okay, so still, whoever gets six next wins. Again, that's that's why this game is a lot better with multiple people, because it's not just like, oh, he snatched one. Wait, what happened? Like, you have multiple moths to go after if there's more than two people. The advent of trading card games has ruined everybody's ability to shuffle because now everybody's terrified to shuffle and bridge. Let's see if we can get our counting to four right this time. One. One, two, two, three, three, four, 
four. Got all fours, I hope. All right, double count your hand. Yeah, four. Good. Teacher. Mummy. 20. Darn it. Furry. Lamp. Mr. Poe. Lamp. Hunters. Lamp. Mom. Fox. Lamp. That would have been poor of a guy. The devil. Furry. Evil bird. Mom. <laughs> that would have been four of a kind for her. Fox. Okay, that one I can work with. We'll get rid of James. Mr. Poe. Oh, Harry. Mr. Poe. <laughs> ah! Well. That's your game, sir. Yay. And there was a very rough version of how to play the original version of Can't Catch Harry. There are expansions, so you can... There's one, I think. We'll do a different video with the expansions, so... All right, that's been it. Thank you for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time, family members. Bye! Bye! don't sound enthused or anything. If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more and let us know in the comments what other videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fangirl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members!